All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Taylor here. Um, this episode's going over an, an auto list material. Now, because I don't have splat masks for what I provided for uh, the project, and because I didn't want to go through and recreate everything, I've opened up a project that I've been working on uh, because I had the uh, necessary splat maps uh, to show you guys how to do both ways. Um, so the first way is you open up your landscape. So uh, well, you're, you go to landscape mode, I should say. And then you go to import. You click on these dotted lines and you find your splat mask. Once you have it, you click import. Interesting. Strangely enough, let's try it. Let's see what happens when we do this. No, I don't want to do that. Anyways, that's how you do it, and it's supposed to uh, import those in for you. I'm not sure why that error was there. It's probably because I use Terrain Magic. Uh, it's a better tool for landscape design in my opinion that's how I got all of this happening here uh, but anyways the second way of doing this oh, whoops go to select is through uh, setting up the splat masks and then and in the material so I was lazy with it I only have one layer going into it. I can't remember which one of these it is that works. I was showing somebody else how to do it and figured that I would do auto list to show people how to do it. So I'm going to want to make sure I have the right one. Hit browse. Okay, I did. Select this. And I'm going to click on the instance. And obviously it's black because it doesn't know what to do. And we come here to landscape and to paint. So plus weighted blend. Okay. And there it is. Now, because I haven't done all the setting up that I did with the other material, it looks a little. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't have any textures on in, in this. Uh, so that's why it looks the way that it does. I haven't done any of the parameter stuff. So, you know, you got shiny portions and whatnot. It's funny. But anyways, that's this right here is how you would do massive amount of splat maps uh, at one time if you place them all into their own channels. Now, I'm curious why this one is different. Why I had to, let's see what happens. Hit save. It sharpened it up, okay. So that was the better one. Yeah, much sharper. So yeah, that's how Autoless works. Um, you can either get the splat map maps and put them in here directly. Uh, the first one is always blank. Then you place them in there. Obviously, if I had more of those, I could then directly put these in there. An important thing to note is that you need to know the size of your landscape and divide the coordinates by that size. Otherwise, it's going to tile this over the entire landscape and that's going to look ridiculous so that is everything for autolus thank you so much for watching and if you are wanting to watch the auto side of the material please feel free to uh, select that video as well have a good one bye